At the end of each blog post, there's a form that lets visitors post a comment on whatever it was that you were just writing about. And up here, we have an example of what the comment will look like. One of the challenges with having comments is that since you don't know where your next visitors will come from, it's kind of hard to tell what they're going to write about. And so sometimes comments end up containing undesirable or inappropriate content. WordPress helps us deal with this issue by essentially putting the comments on hold until you have a chance to look at them. So whenever content is submitted, you'll get an email that lets you know there's a comment waiting for your approval before it gets published to the website. The administrator panel also makes it very obvious whenever there are comments that require some kind of action. For starters, there's a dashboard, and right here it shows us how many comments are pending. We can also see what these comments are in this box down here. Anything that's in yellow is still waiting for your approval, and anything else has already been published. Another way that WordPress shows us that there are comments waiting for moderation is over on the actual comments link in the menu. It gives us a little notification badge with a number of comments that have not yet been approved. So here's our list of comments, and we start off by looking at what needs to be approved. Since the first one in the list has a white background, we know that it's already been dealt with, so we can move on to the next one. And basically what we're trying to determine is whether this is a legitimate comment that actually relates to the post, or whether it's just somebody posting comment spam. A lot of times it's very obvious from the text whether it's a spam comment or not. And so for a post like this one, we can quickly tell that it's not legitimate content, both by the text here and by the website that the comment links to. So we come down to our actions, and of course we're not going to approve it. We move over, move over to spam and click that. And that one's dealt with. And the next one appears to have legitimate content, and at least it's not using any of the words that are normally associated with spam. But a lot of spammers try to be a little more subtle than that. And so all they'll do is use a certain few keywords instead of a name with a link back to their website. So in this case, the fact that they're not actually using a real name and that it links to a suspicious sounding website, at least for our blog, means that we're going to consider this spam and send it to spam as well. The remaining two comments appear legitimate and we can approve them individually, but what we're going to do is select them and go to our bulk actions and approve both of them at the same time. So that's how we would manually deal with spam. WordPress offers several automatic techniques so that way we don't have to deal with the bulk of spam comments and we'll be looking at those in a later session. There are a couple more things I want to point out that could be helpful as you're moderating your comments and they're in the last column over here. This column shows us the title of the post that the comment is linked to, and since some posts will get more comments than others, an easy way to filter down to just seeing the comments for that particular post is to click on this little speech bubble. So now at the top of our screen, we can see that we're only seeing comments for a particular post. If we were working with a post that still had some comments pending approval, the little speech bubble would be blue instead of gray. The fact that it's gray shows us that all comments for this post have been dealt with. We have most of our usual actions like trash and edit and quick edit. And there's another option here, reply, which lets you quickly respond to a comment. It's an easy way to participate in the conversation and it lets your visitors know that you're actually interested in what they're writing about. Once your blog starts to grow, you may find yourself dealing with a lot of comments on a regular basis. And so it can be a lot faster to moderate them using keyboard shortcuts. If you want to learn more about how to do that and what shortcuts are available, you can use the link below this video, or you can go to help at any time and find the same link here.